Now, scientists are still buzzing about the discovery last week of the Higgs boson, but don't worry, we're not going to try to explain it all to you. We wouldn't have a clue. But did you know that Liverpool played a big part in finding it? Yes, a team at Liverpool University helped to build some of the sensors which were used to spot the particle, and today the Higgses and the Einsteins of the future were at a science festival in the city. The idea to inspire more young people to study science and engineering, as Andy Gill explains. Here's Joe White from Wirral. You have to imagine he's cycling through a baking African village with the delivery of ice cream. No refrigerated vans here. So how to transport the ice cream without it melting? Joe and his mates have come up with a way of running a freezer on pedal power. You look at other types of uh, academic study, they sort of entertain people, but science and maths, it can change the world, I think. Today's event is called the Big Bang Fair. It features entries in a school science and engineering competition. Here's a walking stick designed to not get stuck in modern sand. It's the, the eureka moments or the, the slow realisation that hang in a moment. Well, it started off with something, it's now actually working. It was testing it on the beach and like looking back and my friend going, look, there's no imprint. The organisers say it's important to enthuse young people about science for its own sake, but also because science and engineering will drive the Northwest's economy in the future. <laughs> so can events like this make science seem less hair-raising to those who don't think it's for them? By allowing them to come into contact with other enthused people, children who've done excellent work themselves, who are ambassadors to their own schools and to their age group, and then to the companies and the universities that surround them. So it shows them that science is actually part of their life. It's part of their very culture. The Big Bang Fair continues tomorrow and on Thursday in St George's Hall and at the World Museum. Andy Gill, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool.